will soon travel faster than words, you say. How? Only military jet pilots can truly explain it today. But soon, thanks to a new revolutionary aircraft with silencers that can shush the thunder, every American could have this superpower of flying faster than the speed of sound, just like everyone did a few decades ago. That was a time when the US-China feud began to heat up, a time when technological advancements were the only way to survive, a time of great pleasure on one side and unforgivable displeasure on the other, a time when supersonic flights were banned. Supersonic flights were banned. Breaking the sound barrier has always been a technological marvel. Flying at such high speeds meant the world was truly small. Any corner of the globe was accessible in a few hours, travel times could be cut in half, and so on. It is truly impressive. But within this impressiveness is something unforgivable. Supersonic flight is loud, crazy loud, loud enough to produce sonic booms capable of shattering every normal window around you. On smaller aircraft like fighter jets, the sonic booms aren't so large, aren't so intense, so they're forgivable as they're almost unnoticed on the ground. On larger aircraft like airliners, now that's a completely different story. Fortunately, no commercial airliner ever attempted to reach supersonic speeds, so everyone was happy. Then everything changed with the Concorde. Concorde was a commercial airliner that dared to do the impossible, transport thousands of civilians, 128 at a time, at supersonic speeds for forever to come. By the use of the term was, it obviously failed at this quest but not until after a very dramatic series of events and some impressive efforts by its manufacturers. Manufactured by a team from France and the UK, Concorde was powered by four Rolls-Royce Snecma Olympus 593 turbojets that each produce up to 38,050 pound force of thrust. Thus, the aircraft could supercruise at speeds two times faster than the speed of sound and reach a space-bordering altitude of 60,000 feet capabilities only previously reserved for the relatively compact military fighter jets. This wasn't the only similarity the Concorde shared with military jets. The aircraft was also the first civilian-carrying aircraft to feature analog fly-by-wire flight controls. It cut transport times by as much as 50%. People were on the move faster than ever before, yet all of these weren't enough. The sonic booms generated by the Concorde were so disruptive, they could be mistaken for explosions or thunderclaps. The force of the booms rattled windows and loosened roof tiles. Needless to say, people on the ground weren't fans of the Concorde. Numerous protests broke out in countries around the world opposing the flight of the aircraft in the airspace of these countries. As a result, the Concorde was banned in Malaysia, India, Canada, Ireland, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, West Germany, and even partially banned in the US. In countries where the Concorde could fly, it was only allowed to do so over water and not land. The fastest and probably most iconic passenger aircraft in history had just been bitterly rejected by the world. In 2003, a Concorde aircraft had a flight to the Bristol Filton Airport in England. It was the last flight ever recorded by the plane. With the completion of that flight, the hopes of any and everyone in the military to fly at supersonic speeds were essentially dashed, and it would remain so for decades, until now. Today, a successor to the Concorde has come to life, and it promises to do the one thing Concorde couldn't be silent. Finally, a silent supersonic jet. A silent supersonic jet. So far, we've seen that while supersonic flight sounds great in theory, it is unforgivably annoying in practice. But it doesn't have to be. The annoying noise that accompanies supersonic flying aircraft, loud as it is, can actually be silenced. How? That's what NASA set out to find out. The result of their quest is the X-59 Quest. That's Q-U-E-S-S-T. Quest. Quest here stands for Quiet Supersonic Technology. It is an experimental aircraft, hence the X in X-59, for
focused on providing data to regulators on commercial supersonic flight. Using the data from Quest, regulators would be able to reconsider the rules that prohibit commercial supersonic flight over land. The data in question here mainly revolve around silencing the sonic boom inherent to supersonic flight. Quest is being developed by Lockheed Martin's world-renowned Skunk Works division for NASA. The aircraft's approach to silent supersonic flight is to prevent shockwaves from forming at all, rather than trying to silence them. Preliminary design started in February 2016. As of 2017, the aircraft's ground noise was expected to go as low as 60 decibels, about a thousandth the noise of current supersonic jets. Subsequent predictions upped that number a bit, but the aircraft would be far quieter than its predecessor. The design settled on will see an aircraft with a long, narrow airframe with canards. The aircraft will have a super long beak to cut through the air more efficiently. As a result, the cockpit is almost halfway through the entire airframe. The beak is almost a third of the aircraft and strongly impairs forward visibility. Hence, the aircraft doesn't even bother having a forward-facing window. Instead, it will feature NASA's external vision system, which is simply a series of high-resolution cameras feeding a 4K monitor in the cockpit. Every interaction with the outside world will be made via these cameras and some other systems. Collins Aerospace was contracted to supply its ProLine Fusion cockpit avionics to display the boom on the ground and its EVS-3600 multispectral imaging system to be installed beneath the aircraft nose for landing. In addition to having a beak that birds would be jealous of, another shockwave prevention feature on the X-59 is an engine mounted on top. This gives the aircraft a smooth underside and therefore nothing for a sonic boom to hook onto down below as it tries to form. The engine on top of the Quest is the General Electric F414. This engine will reportedly thrust the X-59 to a supersonic top speed of Mach 1.5 and a flight ceiling of 55,000 feet. This is the same engine on top-tier military fighter jets, such as the Saab JAS-39 Gripen and the US Navy's FA-18 Hornet. Quest's cockpit, ejection seat, and canopy come from a Northrop T-38 and the landing gear from an F-16. Despite its military DNA, Quest is a bird eagle focused on the commercial supersonic flight market. Its main goal remains to provide data that will be used to lift the half a century ban on supersonic passenger aircraft around the world. Quest itself has no plan to be a commercial supersonic airliner in the future, but instead will develop technologies that can be used to build such aircraft. On January 12th this year, Quest was unveiled at the legendary Lockheed Martin Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. So many reputable aircraft have been unveiled here, and the X-59 is looking to be another one of them. If it manages to convince regulators by reducing the loud supersonic bangs to subtle rumbles or thumps, it will definitely earn its stripes. Now, while Quest focuses on the commercial side of things, its ability to make any aircraft, irrespective of size, fly silently while supersonic, could easily find use in the military sphere. With China threatening the US with one of the largest military buildups in history, the US needs as many of its aircraft flying as silently as they can. The Quest could make sure of this. It could be a major rival to China a major rival to China. The potential of silence is truly limitless. It is a core member of the family, stealth. To be invisible to enemy defenses, an aircraft must be silent in every spectrum possible, visibly, on the radar, acoustically, and so on. The Quest program can help with acoustic silence. The results could be game-changing. For instance, adding the silence Quest promises to superfast aircraft like the SR-72, which is a planned rebirth of the legendary SR-71, would make the US invincible and invisible in the skies. Enemy air defenses would have a much more difficult time spotting such an aircraft. This would come in handy for the US as the country's relationship with China continues to deteriorate faster than any 8-ball could have predicted. With China insistent on absorbing Taiwan into its territory, and the US promising it will not let that happen, 
and both parties prepared to defend their respective stance even if it means war. A major conflict could break out any time now. And like any major conflict involving world powers, both sides will need all the lethality they can get, whether by brute force or through silent movements to spy behind enemy lines or strike. The X-59 quest can make the latter much easier for the US than it is today. Not to mention, it could also get you to Paris just in time to see your favorite Olympic sports. Now how about that? The world is getting increasingly heated up. Wars keep breaking out, buttons are being pushed, defenses are intercepting offenses, bans are taking effect, and threats are growing into action. With all of these going on, it is important to block out the noise, to build a haven, solace, a quiet place. This is what the Quest has set out to do. To support the aircraft in this mission, NASA and Lockheed Martin need you to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. It's not us, it's them. Okay, maybe it's us. Anyway, do that now to save the world. And thanks for watching.